Hey guys, I'm excited to announce today's video has been sponsored by AOA.com. It's a great website where you can buy RL items and credits at a great reliable location. If you need a place to get your items for your dream car design or you're just looking for items that you've really been wanting for a long time, AOA.com is the way to go. And by using code SPORTYDAN, you can check the link in the description below for 6% off your next purchase. Now, let's get into the video. Hey, what is going on guys? It is Swordan here. Welcome back to another Rocket League Car Design episode. And in today's episode, we do have the Stratum badge specifically for the Dominus. This is an RLCS reward. And honestly, this has got to be one of my favorites when it comes to the Dominus. I think it looks absolutely stunning. And some of these designs are very clean slash try hard. Not too many are like flashy designs like I'm used to. A lot of them are actually pretty try hard and I'm actually really enjoying using them i've used them in a couple games of ones and they look pretty good so yeah make sure to use code sport 11 in the item shop and if you guys have not hit that subscribe button make sure to hit that subscribe button down below to get up to date on my newest rocket league videos so let's get started with the first car design of the episode and we're starting off a little bit of expensive one so starting off we do have the titanium white dominus for both sides and I know, I'm sorry, it is a little bit of expensive, but you can also use the Cobalt Dominus or the Crimson Dominus if you would like, which probably doesn't help, but still, or the Unpainted, you know? For the decal, for both sides, it is the Titanium White Stratum Badge. Yes, again, I'm sorry, we are going a little bit expensive in this design, but we just gotta go big or go home on the first one, right? No, don't worry, the other ones are pretty cheap. But, apparently Rocket League likes me because they've been giving me a lot of Stratum Badges. I think I have five here. Yeah, so a lot of stratum badges, but nonetheless, yeah, we're using the titanium white one. For the D or for the colors, for the primary for the blue side, we do have a dark blue with the accent as crimson. And then for the primary for the orange side, we have a crimson with the accent as blue. For the paint finish, both the blue and the orange side and the primary and the accent, we do have Toon Matte. Toon Matte is one of my favorite paint finishes of all time. So if you see it a lot in this episode, I'm sorry. For the wheels, for both sides, there are the, and I'm going to probably say this wrong, the Petico, the Petiso, Petico, I think it's the Petico wheels, unpainted for both sides, which I believe is another RLCS reward, but it, like, this Stratum badge was meant for these wheels. Like, look at this, like, the way this looks, so we have that crimson, so this is the blue side, right? Let's get into the blue side first. So the primary is that blue to match the outside part of the wheels, and then the accent is crimson to match the rim area. Then we have the titanium white stratum badge in there as well, because as you can see on the treads, there's a little bit of a titanium white in there. And that's why I wanted to do the titanium white dominance, because I just thought it looked a little bit better. But again, you can do the crimson, or the cobalt it really is up to you but nonetheless this just looks absolutely stunning and i feel like the stratum badge was meant for this uh for these wheels and then also for the orange side here we're just flipping the colors we got that primary as a crimson with the accent as cobalt this one looks a little bit better actually i'm a bigger fan of the orange side because i can see the crimson takes up most of the color and we have that cobalt which looks exactly how it like it looks exactly how it looks on the wheels which is just absolutely phenomenal and then we have that titanium white coming in there and just getting all three covers of this decal as well as the wheels so honestly a very nice design in my opinion uh for the boost we're actually going super clean super try hard with titanium white ion for both sides i felt like crimson didn't match very well or the unpainted one so i just did the titanium white ion no topper no antenna no goal exposure but for the trail we're choosing the best trail in the game i know it's really weird but we have the laser wave 3 painted titanium white to match the uh painted version of the decal as well as the titanium white dominus i mean that just looks in amazing like literally so this is the orange side again i have that crimson as the primary for the orange side with the accent as blue i like this orange side just a little bit better because that crimson takes up most of the color which it looks exactly like on the wheels and then the accent as that cobalt with the tune matte paint finish which matches this so perfectly topping it all off with that titanium white stratum badge and then for the blue side here same thing this side does look very good the blue is the main color with the accent as crimson and then that titanium white just bringing it all together and it looks absolutely incredible so getting into the next car design we do have the Okay, this is kind of another expensive one, I guess. I kind of forgot about this one. But we do have the uh, forest green Dominus for the blue side. And then for the orange side, it is the saffron Dominus. For the decal for both sides, it is actually the black stratum badge this time. So instead of titanium white, it's the black one, which is both 
the most expensive items in the game, so I am so sorry, but it is, I mean, it's not too expensive, I'm pretty sure. For the colors, for the part of the blue side, we do have a dark forest green with the accent as a little bit of a brighter forest green. And then for the orange side, we have a dark saffron with the accent as a saffron. For the paint finish, both the blue and the orange side and the primary and the accent, we do have glossy, which is very surprising that I kept that. And then for the wheels, for the orange side, it is the ASIC inverted painted saffron. And then for the blue side, it is the ASIC inverted painted forest green. So you may be wondering, why on earth did you choose this? And it's honestly because the decal matches the pattern of the ASIC inverted perfectly. Let me show you what I mean. So we have that primary as a dark forest green to match the outside part of the ASIC inverted wheels, as well as a little bit of the inside part. And then we have that brighter forest green as the accent color to match right around here where it's like kind of circling. And then we have the black stratum badge because as you can see in between that bright forest green colors, that's a little bit of a black to me. So honestly, this looks pretty clean. I mean, it matches so nicely. Like, look at the stratum badge decal. It looks absolutely insane. Like it looks incredible. It matches the pattern so perfectly. But surprisingly with this one, I actually like the saffron side a little bit better. I'm not sure why. So we have that primary is that saffron, that dark saffron, which looks absolutely incredible matching the colors of the ASIC inverted wheels. And then that saffron as the accent color matching obviously the same part around here. And then we have that black stratum badge matching the exact same pattern of the ASIC inverted wheels. Honestly, I'm surprised I picked that up, but honestly, it's one of my favorite. It looks absolutely so clean and incredible, especially this orange side. I'm not sure why I like the saffron side a little bit better, maybe because I probably have never done a color combination like this, but nonetheless, it looks absolutely astonishing. For the boost, we do have the standard yellow for the orange side, keeping it nice and clean. And then for the blue side, it is the standard green. Again, just keeping it, you know, nice and clean. No topper, no antenna, no goal explosion. But for the trail, we have the Hacksworth 3 painted saffron for the blue side. And then for the orange side, it is the Hacksworth 3 painted saffron. So this is the orange side again. I'm not sure why I like this side a little bit better. Maybe it's because I've never done a color combination like this, but nonetheless, this dark saffron and saffron are a little bit of a brighter saffron as the accent color with the black stratum badge looks incredible with the ASIC inverted wheels. I think it matches the pattern, the colors, everything just comes together so perfectly. And the same for the blue side here. We got that forest green as the primary with the accent as a little bit of a brighter forest green with the black stratum badge matching the pattern of the ASIC inverted wheels perfectly in my opinion. So getting into the next car design, we do have the... Okay, we have finally hit where none of these stratum badges are painted. That's the most painted probably decals that I've done like in a long time in an episode. So yeah, but we have an unpainted stratum badge this time, I promise. And another RLCS reward. So starting off, we do have the purple Dominus for the blue side. And then for the orange side, it is the burnt Sienna Dominus. Now, the decal is obviously the Stratum Badge unpainted, which does look very good. Now, this decal is very interesting, and I'll explain it in just a second. For the colors for the Primary Three Blue Side, we have a dark, dark purple with the accent as a light purple. And then for the Primary Three Orange Side, we have a Burnt Sienna with just a little bit, a very tiny bit of a lighter Burnt Sienna. So, hard to tell on that one. But for the paint finish, both the blue and the orange side, we have the Primary as Metallic and then the accent as Anodized Pearl. For the wheels, for the orange side, it is the rival wheels painted burnt sienna. And then for the blue side, they are the rival wheels painted uh, purple. So this is the blue side. Now, let me explain my thought process and how I thought of this. So as you can see, we have that primary is a dark purple with the metallic on there, because as you can see on these rival wheels, that main color right there is a dark purple with a little bit of a metallic. Now, one thing I don't like is the little sparkles, but other than that, it does look metallic. And then the accent is a light burnt or not a light burnt sienna white purple which anodized pearl now the reason why i chose that is because as you can see inside of the rival wheels it's that bright like purple so that's what i tried to do now the reason why i actually chose these wheels is because it still matches that stratum badge if you look at the stratum badge decal it matches the wheels very nicely so that's the main reason why i chose these wheels the colors it's hard to see, especially for this orange side. I mean, it does still look really good. It looks very clean. We have that burnt sienna as the primary with that metallic matching the rims of the wheels. And then the burnt sienna, like very, very minute lighter burnt sienna as the accent with anodized pearl. Because as you can see inside of the rival wheels, it's just a little bit of a brighter burnt sienna. So nonetheless, I mean, honestly, I think it's a pretty clean design with the anodized pearl, but it's up to you. 
For the boost, we do have the Ion Painted Purple for the blue side. It should be for the blue side, Ion Painted Purple for the blue side. And then for the orange side, it is the Ion Burnt Sienna. I do have to do that inside of Bacchus mod because, well, I don't know. So we have the Ion Painted Burnt Sienna for the orange side and the Ion Purple for the orange side, or for the blue side, sorry. No topper, no antenna, no goal explosion, but for the trail, it is the Hacksworth 3 Painted Burnt Sienna for the uh, orange side. And then for the blue side, it is the purple Hacksworth 3. That sounded really weird. So this is the orange side. Again, I know the rival rules might be a little bit interesting, but I did choose the metallic paint finish for that uh, for that orange side and the blue side as the primaries because I thought it looked a little bit metallic. I don't like the sparkles in it, but you know, can't live with it all. So we have that primary as a burnt sienna and then the accent as that lighter, very lighter burnt sienna with the anodized pearl to match when the wheels light up in the inside. And then same for the blue side here, we have that primary as a dark burnt sienna with that metallic paint finish with the accent as anodized pearl. Again, I really wanted to do anodized pearl to showcase that brightness as well as it does look, it looks pretty good, okay? So getting into the last and final car design of the episode, we do have the Santa Fe wheels and I'm actually really proud of this one. I absolutely love the colors It kind of reminds me of summer and I want summer to come back kind of in a way That's really weird because I'm not actually a summer fan I prefer winter but right here in New York City. It feels like summer every single day for some reason So anyway enough bobbin so starting off we do have the unpainted dominus for the blue side and then for the orange side it is actually the orange dominus now you can do the titanium white dominus if you would like, but let me show you the colors first and tell you why maybe not doing that. For the decal for both sides, it is the unpainted stratum badge. And then for the colors for the primary of the boost side, we have this beautiful teal color with the accent as just below white. So it's like not white, but it's gray. I know it's a really, it's really, yeah, it's a very minute detail, but nonetheless, it is just below white. And then for the orange side, we have the orange here with the accent as, again, just before white, so like a gray color. For the paint finish, both the blue and the orange side and the primary and the accent, we do have metallic, or sorry, whoa. The primary is metallic and the accent as semi-gloss, my bad. For the wheels, for the orange side, it is the Santa Fe wheels painted orange. And then for the blue side, it is the unpainted Santa Fe wheels, which I absolutely love this blue side. As you can see here, we got that primary as a beautiful teal color with the metallic paint finish because I feel like these wheels give off a little bit of a metallic feel rather than, you know, glossy or anything like that. And then we have the accent as semi-gloss because that definitely gives off a semi-gloss feeling. And the colors just look absolutely incredible. It looks so try-hard. It looks so clean. Everything like that. And same for the orange side here. We have that primary as an orange with the accent as just below gray or just below white. So like a grayish white. The reason why I chose that is because as you can see on the Santa Fe wheels, they're not white. That is a bright white. This is like a dark gray slash bright gray. If that makes any sense, that didn't make any sense. But nonetheless, I feel like semi-gloss is a perfect fit for this. Sorry about that. For the boost, we do have Radiant Gush painted orange for the orange side. And I'm, I'm going to be real here. I would probably do the ion painted orange, but the there's no ion. So let me show you what ion painted orange looks like, because let me tell you, it looks pretty good. So that's what ion orange looks like. I would probably do this for the orange side, the ion painted orange. And then unfortunately, since there is no um, like ion teal color or anything like that, for the blue side, you're going to have to do the radiant gush unpainted because that's the only boost in the game that matches the teal color. So for the orange side, do an ion painted orange. And then for the blue side, do an unpainted radiant gush. No topper, no antenna, no gold explosion. But for the trail, we do have the Tachyon 2 unpainted. And then for the orange side, it is actually the Tachyon 3 painted orange. So this is the orange side again. I feel like these Santa Fe wheels kind of bring summer. Not so much for this orange side. It just looks very clean with the orange and just below the white, so like a gray, honestly a great color combination with the metallic and semi-gloss paint finish, but this blue side is actually my favorite side. I love the way the colors look. Maybe it's because I don't do teal very often, but nonetheless, this is a beautiful color combination with that teal and that like dark or light gray as the accent with metallic and semi-gloss with the Santa Fe wheels. Honestly, it looks absolutely incredible. And to be honest with you, maybe you could even do carbon fiber Let's see if that works. I know I'm like about to do a car design here, but honestly, I think we just found it. I'm not even sure. To be honest with you, 
I can't tell which one I like better. Okay, I know that I'm, it's hard to tell right now which one I like better. So you can either do carbon fiber. I don't know why I just thought about that. Or you could do metallic. It really is up to you, actually. I kind of like the carbon fiber, but the metallic looks pretty good. So it's up to you. You can do carbon fiber or metallic. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys in the next episode.